Hey, well, why is from Greensboro and North Carolina? <laughs> So here we are, uh, August 5th, 2016, and I just drove in uh, maybe two hours ago back to the house with the replacement for my 2013 GTL, uh, which was in the charcoal color. Uh, this is a 2016 K1600 GTL exclusive in the storm coloration. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on there See what that looks like. Get a little closer here. My neighbor is mowing his lawn, so we've got that great uh, thing going on. And you can see when I stand this way, and when I move to a little bit different angle in the sun, that this storm color actually changes from a bronzy brown to an almost black, depending on how the sun is, is striking it. It is very metallic, Beautiful, beautiful paint. I was kind of nervous about how I would like this in the long run, but my wife talked me into it. It's really a color that I've not seen on a motorcycle anywhere before. So back and back out again, it's K1600 GTL exclusive 2016. And I'm gonna kind of walk over some of the points that I considered and things that were different from my last bike uh, and, and going over uh, this new one and trying to make that decision. So a couple things, I've already talked in some of my other videos, I'm a pretty short guy. So I opted for the standard seat height. When I ride solo, I usually swap that out to the Corbin touring seat that I've got. But my wife prefers to ride on the back uh, with the stock BMW seat. So I gotta get something I can touch with. It does seem like now BMW has four seat heights where they used to only have three. They've got a low, a standard, a high, and even an extra high. Um, I set on the high, the standard, and the low. The low was very hard, hardly any padding in it. I opted for the standard, which is what I had on my last bike. The other thing about the seat on the exclusive is it has this extra panel right here. Okay, That is a heated panel, which is only available on the exclusive. It's not at, available as an add-on on the regular GTL. So. My wife hopefully will find that nice uh, when we tour. And that is controlled by the normal uh, passenger heat switch there. It will activate the seat and the backrest. Obviously, we also have the uh, armrests, which are standard on the exclusive model. I did notice a difference from the GTL that I had to the, to the, from 2013 to the 2016. It's the coloration on the uh, guards here and on the bottom of the top case are a little bit darker than they used to be uh, along with the bottom of the saddlebags. Another thing that's different uh, on the 2016 models is BMW finally addressed the floppy armrests. Uh, these used to be have very slight spring tension with a couple of ball detents to hold them in position. They've now put some type of a clutch mechanism in there so that if you have them down at speed, they're not going to blow up and end up in the vertical position. It takes some effort to move them now, and it's not going to hopefully be a problem like it was uh, with the other G older GTL models. Coming around the back, it does come standard with the rear brake light, which I did not have on my last bike. I actually ended up blacking out uh, the chrome on my last bike and I took that apart uh, when I put the top luggage rack on scuffed up the chrome and painted that a flat black I don't think I'm going to do that on this I think the chrome works a little bit better with this color scheme uh, so we're going to probably leave it alone on this bike coming around to the other side here so now the sun is kind of head on so you're going to get start to see kind of when you're in the shadow the bike really looks like a, a much more black color okay Coming around. Something else that's really different is the chrome trim around the mirrors instead of all black. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of the chrome trim on the mirrors. I'm 
sure they're trying to make it more exclusive -y or something like that. Uh, I don't particularly care for it, but that's what comes on the exclusive. Other thing is the tops to the clutch and front brake reservoirs are also chrome instead of the black on the standard GTLs and GTs. They have changed the lock on the gas cap. It is no, it no longer requires you putting your key in. It is strictly a lever that you pull up and open it up. And it is not opening. There we go. I just got uh, the key fob close enough so it released. Right? And it just flips up that way without putting a key in. This is completely keyless. When you get the exclusive, it is the only BMW bike that comes with two key fobs like this. Uh, if you get a regular GTL, you're just going to get one. You have to buy the second one. And uh, when you get within about a foot, I'm sorry, about a meter of the bike, that activates the electronics, will unlock the alarm system, unlock the gas cap, and also unlock the keyless ignition, which is right here. Okay, so once that key fob is close, you just come in here, push that, and you'll notice the, the uh, gauges come alive, and you're ready to rock and roll. You just keep that key in your pocket. I used to hate that on my GTL, having that fob flop around in there. The buttons ended up getting worn out after time. All right, it wasn't real conducive. I hit it again, and it will go off. The other thing that you can do electronically now is if I lock, if I turn the wheels all the way to the left and push and hold, you hear that little sound that actually locks the steering in into place. It's no longer a mechanical key lock. I come back, I hit the button again, it unlocks the handlebars, and I can then come back in and turn the bike back on and do that. So the, the handlebar lock is also electronic on this model. Coming back to the key fob, you'll notice the buttons are different from previous years. It's got two buttons, the little roundel logo. If I push it, it actually just locks the uh, central locking system. So the saddlebags and trunk are locked. I hit it again and it alarms the, uh, arms the alarm system. If I hit it again, you get three beeps and that deactivates the alarm system. Okay. The arrow below right, actually clicks the locks and does the alarm system all at the same time. Okay. So a couple different ways to do that with the keyless uh, system. The, the uh, saddlebags have the same uh, locking mechanism. If you wanna take them off, you do need to turn those locks the key fob, if you turn it, it's got a little silver button on the top. If you push that, it's kind of like a switch blade. You push it, the key pops out. You can push that right in right, and turn that if you need to. That key also works to remove the seat. Most of the time, you're not gonna, gonna need that. So you can just fold that back up, push the button, and it will fold back right down into the, into the unit. Okay, pretty nice. Other things that are different is BMW includes their engine guards. On my previous bike, I had the Wonderlich bars and the Ilium Works foot pegs. I think this time around, I'm going to give these a try. They are a little bit more lower profile, have a little bit cleaner look. And Ilium Works has now come out with a set of pegs uh, with extension sliders that actually come out this way and run along here to give you some adjustability. And with the Ilium Works pegs, I think I'm going to try to give those a go this time. Backing out again, again, so I'm gonna come right down in here, kind of level on with this section. You can see that that uh, bronze metallic look almost completely disappears when you're in the shade. You don't see it at all from this angle. But as I come around the front, you're gonna notice that it's gonna to start to come back as that sun hits it, all right? Starting right up in there and back around to this side. Right, you get that bronze look coming right back again. Really nice. 
Some other things that are different on this bike are the gauges. They've taken the gauge package that was on the R1200 RT and the, they've kind of moved that look over onto this bike. You'll also notice that you get the exclusive uh, logoing at the bottom of the gauge package uh, on what they call the multifunction display and also on the tank. Okay. I've got a brushed aluminum strip that runs down the center of the tank area instead of just the normal plastic colored uh, insert that goes there on the GT and the GTL. So what else is different on the exclusive model for this year? Uh, in addition to the stuff that I already pointed out, you've got a lighted uh, undercarriage of the bike. So at nighttime, when you lock the bike, uh, you're going to get a light that shines on the ground for a short period of time. I can't remember exactly what it is, but for a little while. Uh, I'm not really sure, other than kind of maybe looking cool sometimes, how useful that's going to be. I just got the bike. We'll have to see over time if that proves to be a useful feature or not. The other thing on the exclusives, exclusive is that it does come with the BMW brand uh, paneer liners which are a little bit uh, more rigid than some of the other ones out there. Okay. Got the six logo on them right, for, this, for the six cylinder bike. You can get these as an accessory on, on regular GTLs as well. They come standard in the exclusive package. Uh, so they have a little bit of rigidity to them. Uh, probably I'm gonna be keeping these and selling my uh, ones that I had for my other bike. I was able to keep those and uh, watch the page here. I'll post them up, give uh, Touring America riders the first shot at those. I've got uh, paneer liners and a uh, trunk liner as well. Uh, I think they're RKA brand. So that's uh, something else that you get included in the exclusive. Coming back around to the back one more time. This is the back brake light that's now included. That's uh, nothing new, but it's included standard. I've already got my son's uh, helmet in there. Uh, you get a standard light. It's hard to see, I know, up in here uh, inside the trunk, which is nice when you are looking for stuff in the dark. I'm ordering some things, uh, including a new foot for the kickstand. For the side stand, I've, the, those uh, highway pegs that I talked about. I'll also be getting a 3M paint protection kit that I'll put on myself. Uh, we'll show some how-tos on that. I've had a couple of them done on other bikes and after watching them be applied a few times, I've, I did the last GTL myself and I'm gonna do this one as well. So we'll, we'll give you a walkthrough on that. A couple of the tricks that I've learned from professionals. And I've also ordered the uh, shifter cover from Ilium Works. So that hopefully should uh, be pretty easy to put on, but I'll walk you through that as well. So that's the quick walk around of the 2016 K1600 GTL. If you have any questions about it, go ahead and post them. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the Facebook page and the YouTube channel. Tell your friends. We'll be trying to do weekly videos throughout the rest of the summer.